Hello out there to you. In this problem, we've got a utility maximization problem for the consumer, sometimes called a consumer choice problem. So we need to figure out what is the optimal, uh, sometimes called bundle, but the optimal number of beers and pizzas that this consumer will purchase. So um, we've, given, we've been given some of the total utility and some of the marginal utility, and so we need to fill in the rest of the the chart and then um, we've got a budget of eight dollars so basically what's the most happiness that this consumer can uh, get um, given that eight dollars so the formula that we want to use here is the marginal utility of beers divided by the price of beers needs to equal the marginal utility of pizza divided by the price of pizza conditional on the budget which I'll just put it I'll write it as budget but we're given we're given the budget here is eight dollars okay so basically what's the most additional happiness we can get from beer per dollar divide it needs to equal the most additional happiness we can get from pizza per dollar given that we have an eight dollar budget so given us the price of, of $1 each, so what we need to do is calculate marginal utility divided by price. So re, I'm going to break this apart just so I have a little bit of room in between. Um, what I need to calculate here, if I buy no, so over here, utility is like satisfaction, okay? So if I have no beers, I have no satisfaction, okay? Uh, here, here. Um, this right here, this is minus five. So they've they've drank too much beer, and now they've uh, uh, they're decreasing marginal utility there. Um, okay, so so this is the additional utility from that first beer. So we were at zero, and we get additional twenty five. So the first one is twenty five. Okay, now or really, uh, let me write this out for you. The marginal utility equals the change in total utility divided by the change in quantity. In this case, we're changing the quantity by one, whether it's beers or pizza, so it's no big deal, okay? Um, so uh, that's the column we're trying to fill in here, but we're really just trying to get the total utility because that's part of the problem here. So now I was at 25, and now uh, I'm going to go up by 15, so that's 40. And then I was at 40, now I'm going to go up by 10, so that's 50. And then I was at 50, and I'm going to go up, so 55. Which means that fifth beer doesn't give us any additional satisfaction. Okay. All right, so now I've filled in this whole column, and... What I could do is marginal utility divided by the price for this column. Now that it costs one dollar, so really it, 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 they're the same numbers here. I don't, I don't need to um, really divide, but I, I do need to divide when it's a dollar fifty. So I'll leave that column here. Okay. Um, so this call, this is equivalent to marginal utility divided by price when the price is one dollar. Okay, so we're already set there. Um, now let's do the same thing with pizza. Okay, now pizza, we've been given the total utility. We just need to figure out the marginal. So how much additional happiness, satisfaction, utility do we get from that first pizza? We get 10. We get 8 from the next one. We get 6 from the next one. Okay, and now I'm at 24. I get a 4 additional. So just like that other problem, it's 28. And then I'm at 28, I get two additional, 30. And then I'm at 30, I get zero additional, 30. I'm filling up, this person uh, can drink a lot of beer and eat a lot of pizza, that's great. Okay, uh, so now I've filled in the columns. Okay, so now I have a budget of $8, so I'm just gonna see what satisfies this down here. Okay, so what equals what? They both equal a dollar, so this is, Marginal utility divided by a dollar, same thing here. So what combinations work? Okay, so let's see here. Um, you could do zero and zero. 
uh, that would be five dollars spending on beer and six dollars spending on pizza well that would be um, too much money that would be eleven dollars so that doesn't work okay I'm only looking at this column and comparing it with this column so don't look at the total column then uh, let's do 10 and 10 let's see if 10 and 10 works let's circle them both here okay so that would be one um, one pizza and three beers that's only that's only spending four dollars so that doesn't work I, I can get more happiness as I move closer to this condition here so let's see if we can get any better now let's see what the green combination is uh, what if we do uh, green combination four and four Four. And that, that's gonna that's gonna be the answer. So four and four. Uh, that's the happiest we can get given eight dollars. These do not exactly equal. So the writing of this problem that's the that's the closest that we can get. So the writing of this problem isn't perfect, but um, uh, we got we got to where five is closest to four. Because if we if we continued, we could get two more, but we can't afford can't afford that so this is the best we can do here so uh, so the answer here is four beers and four pizzas four beer four pizzas that might be called the optimal bundle it's the best the consumer can do all right what if the price of beer increases to 150 but the price of pizza remains the same so then this column is going to stay the same so let's use a different color here we'll use purple so now it's marginal utility divided by 1.5 okay so I'm gonna need a calculator so 25 divided by 1.5 is 16.67 I'll just round it to 16.7 uh, 15 divided by 1.5 that should be 10 yeah okay uh, divided by 10 uh, or rather 10 divided by 1.5 make sure I get that right yeah. 6.67 and then 5 divided by 1.5 oops 3 and a third and then 0 is going to be 0 um, that's a negative number you're never going to buy that many beers because you'll be throwing up in the bathroom Okay, so now we're going to compare this purple numbers to these numbers here. Um, what is the optimal bundle? So none of these equal. What if we did orange? What if we did this one and this one? That gets us pretty close. So now that would be $3 on pizza. Okay, we'll just make a column for the spending here. $3 on pizza and then on beers... Uh, we're spending so three was it four fifty? We're spending four fifty. So that's us spending seven fifty. This is uh, spending on uh, what are the other things called beers? Um, so that's seven fifty. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think that's gonna be the answer. That's a, that's as close as I can get to spending the entire budget. I think, uh, would there be another column that would work? Let's, what if, what if, uh, what if we did this one and this one, those are both 10. So then it would be uh, $3 on beers and $4 or one, an additional dollar on pizza. So that would only be spending $4. We haven't spent our entire budget. And then what if what about eight and eight spending more more on pizza? Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look good. Looks like the right answer here is gonna be um, for the second one there. The best we can do is uh, three beers and three pizzas. So three beers and three Pizzas. The takeaway here is you want to you want to make you want to make this condition happen. So that's how to do those consumer choice problems when given a table.